for muscle as it tears, it heals, it gets bigger. Tendons and ligaments as they tear, they do not heal so well. Brandon Bishop has been around and he has been on a bit of a losing streak since losing that world title to Rex Hart. That has done a lot of damage to Brandon Bishop. Winning the TV title would be a great way for him to, to get back in, in the swing of being Brandon Bishop. Absolutely. Losing that title definitely had some psychological effect. Well, he went for, uh, went for a pinfall, but it is not that kind of match as, as the referee reminds him. He must climb a ladder. Now, Brandon Bishop, very successful in ladder matches. In fact, I can't think of a ladder match that he has lost. But at the same time, look at the strength of Justin James. It took him a little effort, but he got Brandon Bishop up and over. Like I've said, Justin James, the most successfully defending champion, the television champion for a reason. And he's showing it right here. Here he is. Brandon Bishop started strong, but Justin James now in full control of this matchup. Side rush and leg sweep perfectly executed. There, there's no doubt that Justin James knows his business in the wrestling ring. He's one of the, the Powell originals, starting back when Powell was CCW. He's been around from the beginning, from day one. You know, he is, he is an original. You know, and, and, and those years of experience here in Powell, you know, perhaps not elsewhere, perhaps not in the business in general, but the experience here in Powell has really shaped him in, into the successful individual that you see before you today. The Powell wrestlers have a lot going for them. They've had so many wrestlers from other regions, from other parts of the country, so many champions come in how they learn from this. And Justin has been a master at learning the trade. Well, not only learning from the other wrestlers, but the Powell School, the Powell Training School. Uh, I, I myself have gone through it. It is no joke. For anyone who ever thinks that, that, that this is not one of the most grueling businesses in the world, has obviously never stepped foot in there. You know, and, and going to Powell, you really learn. You know, and Justin James, it's that old school mentality that Powell Entertainment has. That that is what all, all the veterans in this business respect. You know, and you you can argue Justin James isn't the most respectful individual in the business today but it's not disrespect that he shows it's it's confidence he knows how good he is sometimes i think there is a little bit more disrespect than uh th than overconfidence well you, you can say that all you want rj but you, you can't say overconfidence he is the most defending champion in power entertainment today. No argument. Which just put me three steps ahead of Rick Lowe on inside the ropes. He argues with me constantly about that. And there, right there, Justin James showing that, that mind of his. Using that ladder, not just as a tool to get to the title, but as the weapon it is. And that ladder, it, it is, granted, an inanimate object, but it has a personality. It has a violence in it that is, that is untapped unless utilized by the right person. You know, and Justin James could show that he is the right person if he really uses that ladder to the full extent of its capabilities. Right now, he's setting that ladder up. He's looking to go up. You know, Brandon Bishop's still stirring right now, and, and he's a little too upright. Justin James, maybe a little early in his attempt. And Brandon showed him about the need to try. Now I think these two are, are just trying to ascend the ladder, just, just to rub it in each other's faces. And uh, that ladder was just rubbed into Justin's face right there. Or, or vice versa, maybe it was Justin's face rubbed into the ladder, but either way, the effect is the same. Justin James right now at the mercy of Brandon Bishop. Referee Brian Allen trying to pry Brandon Bishop off of Justin James. You know, 
one way or the other, one of these men is going to have to get up that ladder and grab that belt. That is how you win this match. That's all there is to it. You know, they, they can they can mat wrestle each other till the cows come home. But unless you ascend that ladder, there is no victory. You need to be at grab that belt, come down with it, and you are the winner. Outstanding suplex right there by Justin James. I thought he was about to set the ladder up for another shot to climb, but it looks like he's got something else in mind. Whatever it is, it will be detrimental to Brandon Bishop's health, no question about it. Oh! Perhaps I spoke too soon. Justin gave him a little too much time, and Brandon was playing possum. bit of the nether regions there. I, I don't foresee any little adjustments in our future after that shot. He's making a sandwich out of them. And now hammering the, more of the midsection and the, the chest, the, the ribs. I mentioned before using that ladder as a weapon. It is a violent tool when used, you could say, properly, improperly. I mean, if you talk to the folks in any hardware store, they're going to say this is not the proper purpose for a ladder. Now, Brandon Bishop not only takes the brunt of that ladder, and he took the brunt of that turnbuckle in the nether regions. No question. And, and Brandon perhaps a little, a little tangled up in that, in that turnbuckle. Justin James now to his feet. This could be a big, big move right here. Superplex. Superplex. Delivered perfectly. The unfortunate thing about that is it can take know, just as much out of the person perpetrating it as it can the person who takes the, the, the brunt of it. No doubt about it. Both men land flat on their back. It's eight, ten feet up in the air. Well, now Justin James thinking maybe that smaller ladder isn't enough going for going for the taller. What? What would you say that is? Is that a is that a ten foot? Is that a that would have to be a ten foot ladder. Each step in a foot part. More than enough hardware right there to get to the belt, and definitely more than enough hardware to dish out some damage to your opponent. And Brandon Bishop face first into that turnbuckle. You know, another thing we have to think about is is the abuse. That, that has been done to, to Brandon Bishop's head over the past few months. You know, it began with Rex Hart and the Sinmates assaulting Brandon Bishop over and over as, as Rex Hart built to his win for the world title. And then it continued after Rex Hart won the world title. It has continued since. Justin James doing damage by knocking that megaphone across the skull of Brandon Bishop. That ladder is rocking. Both men down. Oh, they both ate the rope there. Looks like Justin James may have taken a little bit of it across the throat. And if so, that, that could be a crushed trachea right there. Yeah, but Brandon Bishop, when he drives, when he bounces back, he's hit back, and he's had to take across the ladder. Equally damaging to both men. Unbelievable. Whichever man gets to his gets to his feet first will we'll have the advantage. And right now it looks like it is Justin James, and he grabs that smaller ladder and just drives it into the midsection of Brandon Bishop. Setting the ladder up. Here it is, the catapult. Face oh. first, right into that ladder. Now, Justin James has an opportunity right now. He has just cracked the skull of Brandon Bishop against that ladder. Instead of looking out into the crowd, mocking and ridiculing the fans, now is the time to start making that ascent for the title. And that's where I talk about the arrogance. He cannot do that. Well, to his credit, it's not like he totally left Grant, Brandon Bishop unattended. He goes right back into doing damage. Five seconds, though, 
it's time for your opponent to recover. And right now, Brandon Bishop is coming back. Oh, but he gets hit with the ladder again. That, that's ring awareness, weapon awareness. Justin James knows where he is, knows what he's doing, and is utilizing that ladder in all the ways necessary. Setting it up once again. He's got something in mind there. Whatever it is, it cannot be good. No. Bishop, using that ladder as a lever, racking it up into the shoulder of Justin James, propelling him from the ring apron to the outside. And you know, Justin James did have shoulder injuries for the longest time when he was wearing that sports bra down the ring. Did you say sports bra? RJ, that, that was a medical implement needed to maintain Justin James's Physical well-being. Okay. Sports. You know, I, I am disgusted in your one-sidedness when it comes to commentary, RJ. I, I really think that you have just got it out for certain individuals in this company, and, and frankly, I'm afraid. Well, we're seeing a third ladder come into focus. Oh! That ladder, probably not enough to make it to the belt, but still enough to awesome. crush the, the skull of Justin James. And that went down into the lower regions, and that to the chin. Justin James might be out on the at, out at ringside right now. He flew over that top rope. You know, it, it, his skull has been racked with, with blow after blow, and that's solid, solid steel constructed ladders right there. These are no flimsy, Ladders. These are not, you know, tin foil. These are legit pieces of hardware, right? And when you get hurt with, it, when you get hurt with one, it hurts. There is no question about it. When Bishop flying the outside, continuing the abuse to Justin James, keep keeping him down on the ground, and now Brandon Bishop setting up that ladder. Everything takes time, everything, seconds, seconds, seconds. By the time he gets that ladder set, Justin James is coming back into the ring. That is one of the unfortunate truisms of this kind of match, that ladder rocking. Now Justin James is sending the ladder as well, and these two are going to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Pedigree. Right to the center. It, it doesn't look like Brandon Bishop had all of it, but he might have had enough, driving the stall of Justin James straight into the mat. Now Brandon Bishop can get his physical. Wait a second. What? Rick, Rick, Rick Paradise is coming Paradise down to the ring. Iron. Brandon what Bishop's the, up to the top. What the hell are He's they doing? Got the belt. Brandon Bishop has the belt. What if is he Rick can Paradise unhook it. doing out here? He had his time. He was here. Brandon for Bishop's the Hall got of the belt. Rick Paradise, he, he, he was inducted into the Hall of Fame by his nephew, Justin James. These two have, have had no love lost for Brandon each other. Brandon Bishop Black is your new television there. champion. Wait. Black Iron's helping Justin James. The, and, and Justin now holding on to the title. And, I, no. No. Well, there's the decision. 